Okay, turns out Ill's in this little room. This, yeah. This little corner behind the boxes that we had to move over. This has to be the right room. Yes, there we go. Hi there. Static is best attic. Everything and da da da. far like coming out this week, for example. Back feet is living in it. Sort of high quality attic. Didn't mean not my jelly friend. Jelly was where I didn't see for tonight. Sort of coverage. Tell me to explain. Meh. Oh come on. Now do you remember? Uh, not. Okay, no, no disrespect. Okay, no disrespect at all. So. <sighs> Alright, that was a waste of time. <laughs> Purposely put all those level 90s there just to make it harder. Wow. Guess we're gonna have to worry about level 90s in other places. We had the right blades out. Yeah. Thanks to you, my customers are back safe and sound, so my reputation won't suffer. Better yet, they all seem super happy with the experience. What a bunch of weirdos, I swear. Well, whatever, I don't I won't dwell on it. If they're happy, then I'm happy. And thank you for all your help. That's totally fine. I don't need to be so humble. Here's a reward from the customers, so it's just something they found in the factory. I'll throw in a little bit extra, too. Thanks again for saving me from four whole one-star views. <laughs> it's an industrial sort of tour. And now Dagus levels up. Yay. Be it doesn't behoove me to do the work. Behoove. That's your job. Behoove is a word. I, I hope I can use this to help out. All right. What shall we do next then? But you anything, there's some new quests in Tantal. In Temperantia. Let's rest the spell. Oh, hello. Oh, teaching us how to platform up here. All right. All right, that that's creative. Something wrong? I like it up here. This view of the Osaur is simply unparalleled. Is that the night? Say no more. I know where you are going with it. You want me, the greatest artisan on Alras, to make you, a random person, an accessory made of ripthick aluk. Well, I'm going home. Don't bother me until you can show me some prime elu corn, and don't make me wait too long. What? Well, that's random. Okay, I have to look up what those things actually are. Oh, wait! Oh, the quest actually has a quest marker. Not bad. Okay. All right, not bad. Thank you for actually marking them. So we don't have to waste time figuring out which enemies they are. We've arrived. Okay, let's make a score. Oh, it's those golden ones. Oh, I knew we had to fight these guys eventually. Nice. Like, it's freaking golden, golden mooses, or deer, whatever these are. Is this, these look like a sacred animal. It's a shame we have to fight them and pluck their horns. Oh well, if we go by Toriko logic, the horns will grow back in an instant. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, now the other one's here. Alright, that's one. Alright, we're using Dagus now, nice. Some problems take a while to load. Oh, screw that, we'll just walk to the other one that's over here. Thinking that these guys are also light benders. All right, and you're a you're a white one. on YouTube, yay! Alright, we don't have to worry about this one, but he's a lot weaker, so why don't we just take him down? Yep, that was pretty easy.
Oh, now you're over there. Okay. Resume the advance. Oh, come on! Oh, come on, dude. Let's go off like firecrackers! Hey, I don't, I don't like this guy already. Rock, I need you. Rock, pleased to meet you. How good is your wind mastery? The wind is my mate. Ah. <sighs> okay, what do we need? Puppy boosters engaged. It sounds fun. That's very kind of you. Sure, I can uh can uh make steak. We also need Aegeon. Hello there. I swear this better not start an auto cut scene and prevent me from getting my good blades out. I swear. Start an auto cut scene. Okay, good. A fine choice, good sir. Leave it to me. Let's get my good blades out again. Okay, where are we out to? More like has a lot of blonde blades. <laughs> I won't let you down. I hope oh, at least. Time. Is this even the end of the quest? Let's find out. Where is Vale? My blood boils. Is something the matter? Have you got what I need? Are you kidding? You didn't say you needed all that. Wow, you're a dick. It is done. Take it. And use it well. Thanks. Got the yellow corns. Oh, man. Oh, good. That's the end. Okay. Yeah, screw you. I'm never coming up here again. <laughs> Probably gonna make me come up here just, just for other side quests. Like, screw this guy. Screw this guy make me use all this field skill crap to get up here. Alright. Is that the only side quest that's open? But we haven't been down here ever since that boss fight. I'm curious if there's something here. Okay, let's make a start. What? Who are, who are you two? Are these just, are these just random guards? Okay. 
Okay, because here's those random guards. All right, there's nothing down here. There's got to be something new on Fonset. Me a salvage, don't you? It's a wonderful place, Letheria, don't you think so? I've read about it, but the real thing is something else. I feel so free, the nature, the weather. Ah. Came here with my girlfriend, and it really did wonders for us. See, her father's just like you guys, a real go getter, capable as anything. But that puts him in such high demand, he hardly ever finds time to meet up with his daughter. I mean, what can you do, right? But he's her only living family, and I can tell it gets to her sometimes. Oh, I see. Anyway, since you all look so capable, I was wondering if I could talk to you about something. I want to propose to my girlfriend, here in Letheria, but I might need some help. Would you mind? All I need is a special precious stone, and also a safe passage to a place with that romantic kind of mood. Simple, right? I'll do what I can. Oh, thanks so much. Let's deal with the rock first, then. It's for the engagement ring, you see. My buddy Digi Digi told me about these brilliant white gems called Posy Stones. Apparently they only come from this one specific cave in Tantal. Ugh, great. What was the- Oh my god, we had to go there again! Oh my god. My original plan was to go to Araya, work hard and save up, but then Digi Digi sell me one, but I don't think there'll be a better time to pop the question than right now, so anyway, it's a bit far, but that's not going to stop a go-getter like you now, is it? Think you can help me out? Eh, you suck, dude. I'm at a turning point in my life, but don't worry, I won't be sending you the reward either. Go get him! Yay, we have to go back to the Papey Doe Cave, yay. That we don't already have it. Okay. There's not really a convenient warp point for this. Come from? Yeah, there's a lot of flying fish here. Where the heck did he come from? It's like quests, you know, you trigger enemies. You walk a few feet, you trigger enemies. Well, quest is uh, random encounters, but these oh, enemies yeah. actually appear on the field. It's the same with Pokemon. Pokemon has random encounters. I could never get through a game of quests. That's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it didn't get it didn't get that good reviews. You, uh, I kind of liked it, but you could, couldn't get too far. You had to fight another battle, you know. Yeah. Battle, battle, battle. All right. Hello there. Are you a water master? No, you're not. I'm sure it'll work because, out great. Yeah, he's got good water master. With my I think we already killed the special enemy that's in here. Well, it would have been up there, so I guess it doesn't matter. Well, there's the Posey Stone. Let's get our good blades back out. Okay, where are we out to? Okay. Make way for me. I'm going to Letheria. Okay, let's make a start. 
I got what you asked for. That's a posy stone? Wow, it's stunning, and it'll suit Aurelia to a T. I'm so happy I asked you guys. Don't even mention it. So what's next? The backdrop for your proposal, was it? Yes, that's right, but lower your voice for Aether's sake. She's a few feet behind me. We have to keep this a secret from Aurelia, don't we? Ah, oh, sorry. Well, moving on. I'm a theory myself, born and bred, so just let me know what you're after. I'll have to be... There'll have to be some place romantic, talking about our love on a beach of pure white sand, that kind of vibe. Hmm, Baldolta's Isle might work then, not that I know much about the talking about our love part. Well, may as well have a look at it, lead the way. I got ya. Aurelia dears, a little something just came up that I had to deal with. Will you be okay by yourself for a bit? Oh, did it now. Well, alright, if it's just for a bit, we're gonna come back and she's gonna be attacked by monsters or something. I can't just leave her after a vulnerable or just like that. Exactly. I won't be long, promise. It's just, I heard an old friend was in the area, so I thought I'd go say hello is all. An old friend, is it? Well, be careful now. we Will do. Who does he think he's fooling, anyway? Alright. Where is... Oh! Oh, it's just over here. Okay. There's also a special enemy around here. I don't know... I don't know where it is. Well, here we are. There's your white sand, there's your water, all pretty and everything. What do you think? Oh, it's a nice place, all right. But I think it might be... But I think it might be, might be typo. It might be, might be missing a little, uh, how can I put it? What I mean is, it seems a bit unsafe with all the monsters around. And it's certainly very pretty in the day, even though it's raining. But what about when it gets dark? When it comes to proposing, I think nighttime is the way to go. You mean, like, under the Aurora? The Aurora, that's genius! See, Rex, you do get it after all. You have proposing with a posy stone ring under the light of the Aurora. That's the stuff of dreams. I can't think of a more perfect scene. So do you know a good spot for seeing the lights? If I had to guess, maybe Godsford Isle? Let's go check it out then. I'd like to get a more feminine perspective on this. Maybe one of the lovely ladies traveling with you. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Who, the girlfriend? Yeah, that, or that, uh, that girl that's with her. That's with him? Yeah. Um, well, that, he's trying to propose to her, and he wants to keep oh, it a surprise. That's the one. Yeah. And I feel like she's going to be attacked by monsters when we come be back gone, for her. We come back. Yeah. I'm kidnapped or something. Hey, I gotta go rescue her. Princess rescue mission. Pretty much. This place is just... No, it's totally great. If a guy asks a girl to marry him in a place like this, the girl can't say no, right? Rex, help me out here. Can you ask one of your companions for their honest opinion? I'm sure, but who do you want to ask? We can't ask any of the other blades, sadly. Let's, um... Let's ask Poppy. That should be cute. Poppy, what do you think? Why, Rex, call on Poppy? Poppy has little expertise to contribute. It may not answer to satisfaction. <laughs> Maybe so, but I bet at least you'll be honest. Then Poppy will answer frankly. Answer is, this is good place. Rare gemstone plus rare atmosphere conditions equal low, li low likelihood of plan becoming considered cliché. It's not probable to Poppy that person who is subject to proposal in these circumstances, except on the spot. She's very scientific. Logical. She's a robot. Oh. Okay, I decided. I'll do it here. If I had to nitpick, though, I had to admit with hesitation that I may... maybe have one teeny tiny concern. <laughs> oh, hi. Gorillas. Oh, alright. We'll clean them out for you. Can't have anything ruining the perfect moment, right? If you would be so, uh, kind. Nothing to it. Alright, we'll just, uh, push these Gorilla Grods off the cliff, then. Then again, I don't have Korra with me anymore, so that sucks. Oh, well. Alright, we'll start the fight with you. Oh, it's one of those platforms! Is that how we get to that? Oh, wow! Okay, we gotta remember to come back here for that. That's how we get on there. I wonder if that actually serves a purpose or if it's just a shortcut or something. Come on, we're so close to pushing you off. Oh, 
All right. Well, there goes our rewards. Pretty sure I saw uh, something that looked like a core crystal. Thanks for that. I think everything's ready now. There's no way this could fail. With the award shining bright and the posy Senrine to give her, yeah, it's perfect. I guess all I need to do now is actually do it. Okay, and I better go get my beautiful girl. You guys have been so helpful. I'll never forget this. Thank the architect I met you. Yeah, yeah, just go get her. Hope it goes well for the guy. Fingers crossed indeed. Ian and proposal fail, at least Poppy and friends here can pick up pieces. Come on now, Poppy, don't jinx it. Either way, it's bound to be a sight. Who's up for watching it happen? Are you for real? Oh, like you're not even the t tiniest bit curious? Give me a break. Okay, maybe I am. Just the tiniest bit. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a massive bit curious, personally. If we all just stand there, he's bound to lose his nerve, though. You've got a point. Alright, Rex, we'll let you choose who gets to stay and watch. What's this now? I, uh, that's Titan's foot. Okay, Poppy, you're the one who decided. And the rain romantically clears up. That is beautiful. I'm glad everything went well. Poppy, a little disappointed, was hoping for pieces to pick up. Cut it out, Poppy. Rex, why ask Poppy to watch? Is maybe feeling envious of Master Pond? No, 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 nothing like that. It was more like, you've not been alive that long, right? So I thought you might like to experience something like this. Ah, so Rex is concerned after correct development of Poppy. Even Master Pond sometimes neglect that. Thank you. You're welcome, I guess. Rex, Poppy must acknowledge good deed of Rex. From, ne from today, please accept title of Vice Master Pond. Vice Master Pond? No, uh, that's alright, really. Let's just keep things as they were, okay? I think that's better for everyone. If I, if Rex say so. I'm really curious what the others would have said. Alright, that was an easy quest. So let's see who leveled up. She's so close. Oh, good! Lovely! It doesn't behoove me to do the work. Alright, we just had to go to the Inn and Argentum. Rest 
Master Pawn, Poppy has small requests to make. Don't tell me this isn't unrelated to Heart to Heart. Hey man, what's this about? Could it be Puppy eyeing up secret tasty sausage stash of Torah? Master Pawn can keep sausages. Not even a little bit interested. There's something Poppy has been wanting to try out. Wanting to try out? Like novel combination of tasty sausages and Argentine noodle soup? Master Pawn can keep sausage soup. With that attitude, Torah not raise Poppy to have no appreciation for finer things. What Poppy wants to try is Love Potion. Love Potion? But who Poppy want to use Love Potion on? On Poppy. Poppy use Love Potion? On Poppy? Does Poppy need more self-esteem? Want to love self more? That not what Poppy mean. Poppy wants to find out if Potion like that have any effect on Poppy. Meh meh meh. Poppy a good point. That very intriguing experiment. Alright, Torah make Potion for Poppy. Master Pond know how to make Love Potion. Should be easy peasy with proper ingredients. Master Pond so amazing. Meh heh heh. Well, the problem is, ingredients may be a little bit tricky to gather. What ingredients Master Pond need? Oh, all kinds of ingredients! But most tricky plant is called Flutterheart Grass. Very rare plant. Only grow in place called Sealed Quarry and Tantal. That sounds quite arduous task. Will Master Pond go to all trouble of get rare plant for Poppy? Of course! Torah do very best to make Rextrax Fetch Plant! Once rare plants obtained, all I need to do is cook up potion and most burning burn use place in Argentum. Understood. Time to start mission. Alright, this is random. Uh, not gonna do that. I wanna listen to Doggus's heart to heart. So I guess we'll rest at the inn again. <laughs> Too bad all the- it's a waste of 70 gold each. Like, don't see why we can't just unlock all of them at once. And a random heart to heart with Poppy. Poppy also talked with Pyra 31 times today. What are you doing, Poppy? Oh, Bridget, Poppy just writing in diary. There's a lot of stuff you can unlock at this inn. Poppy decided to leave records of life, just like Bridget. But you can't be returned to a poor crystal like us, so you're not in danger of losing your memories, are you? Poppy's body is a very complex device. If important part damaged by attack, memory could be corrupted. Oh, I see. At a glance, your body seems practically flawless, but I suppose it comes with its own troubles. Bridget, right. It's like Master Pawn often say, Poppy's delicate body always in need of TLC. Taurus says that to you, does he? Remind me to have a word with him later. I don't know what that stands for. Uh, Bridget, can Poppy ask why Bridget cares so much about preserving past memories? Poppy started diary, but never know what to write. Maybe Bridget can help. I don't want to lose myself forever. If Bridget not have diary, no more Bridget? Poppy thought, even if Bridget go back to Core Crystal, just need to find new driver, and then Bridget come back. But is that really true? If I were to return to my crystal and remain that way for a long time, by the time I was reawakened, all who knew me could be long gone. If the Bridget who lived through that time no longer exists in my memories, or the memories of others, who's to say that I existed in that time at all? Hmm. Might be difficult to prove that true. If nobody knows of my existence, I may as well not have existed. That thought, it troubles me. I'm gonna feel you, Bridget. After all, it's the time I spend with those dear to me that makes me who I am. The happy memories, the sad ones, all of them together. Without them, I don't think I would be myself. To lose all of that forever? It would be like denying not only myself, but the people I spent those times with. Master Palm teach Poppy many things. Poppy not want to forget all that. Master Palm pour everything into making Poppy. Precisely. So if you hold him dear, a diary filled with memories of him should be just as precious. Because memories are what connect us to others and to the world we live in. Poppy think Poppy understand. We'll try best to write good diary. We'll fill diary with memories of everyone, even Bridget. That's very kind of you, Poppy. 
I'm sure your diary will be wonderful. Good habits. Okay, now let's unlock Dagus' heart to heart, please. Did you, um, sleep well? Mm, nice cow. That levels up rigid. Hearken to me, driver, and it's told that we may behold a beautiful visa from the Oral Cloudway exit in the Lithurian Archipelago. Perhaps it will be a sight fit for our royal eyes. I command you to transport me there. Do not tarry with the preparations. Oh, hi. Did you, um, sleep well? Uh, thanks for the question, Ursula. Yeah, especially after the rainfall. Penny for your thoughts, Daggers. Hmm. To be frank, it does not live up to my expectations. Screw you, buddy. I must doubt the tastes of the one who deemed this view spectacular. But surely you must agree that it's not terrible. Well, <laughs> perhaps a commoner would find it agreeable. <laughs> Excuse me, commoner? Oh, don't take it so hard. It is only natural that I should possess more exacting sensibilities than you're like. So we should look for prettier place to make Dagas happy happy. Your kindness is wasted on me. The manner of spectacular view I seek is not something one can simply happen upon. I wouldn't want to waste your precious time. Poppy had question for Dagas. You may speak. Why Dagas always such negative? It's true. Dagas always look like he not caring. Always acting high and mighty, but never seem motivated. Your expectations seem misguided. Why should one such as myself be forced to expend precious energy? In battle, it's important to act like life is on line. It's true. Need to give all in battle or might end up food for monsters. Then that would be my driver's negligence, would it not? In which case, it is the driver who needs to be thoroughly motivated. It makes no sense that I should give my all while my driver is lacking. Big shock! Tora never heard argument like that before. My, I really had no idea that a blade could think that way. I don't have the words. This is where we part ways. What? You wish to expel me? A mere retainer wishes to abandon their king. What? Dagas, ruler of a country? First Tora here of it. A blade can't be a king. That's not possible. To be precise, I was king before I became a blade. Properly speaking, it is a crime for a mere driver to wield one of my standing. But it would be more terrible yet if my driver were to perish in battle, so I endure this humiliation with magnanimity. But hang on. There's no way you can still have your past memories. Whether I have memories or not is insignificant. What matters is that I was, without doubt, a ruler. No doubt, someday, you will come across vestiges of my once great reign. Oh, boy. It is I who should be displeased. But to my good fortune, I now understand something. I had long wondered why you did not show me the respect I should rightfully command. To think that you had not recognized my noble lineage, my kingly presence, but now you see, yes, it is beneath me to exert myself in service to you. I will apologize.
crime, my full capabilities, only when I myself see fit. Until such time, I trust you will take care of all menial tasks. Are we clear on that? Good. Now do not bother me with trifling issues any longer. Have it your way. So he's basically full of crap. <laughs> Blue blood. Wouldn't Bridget be considered royalty since she's the royal family's blade that gets passed down to them? Honestly, I feel like she would. Either way, I kind of ship Dagas and uh, Sheba. I feel like they'd go well together. And they are both Morag's blades. Okay. That was fun. Dang it. Um, any other quests around here? None that I see. I guess it's that that wedding quest was the only one. So let's keep looking around. Let's see if something appeared in the Crucible, because something always appears in the Crucible. Let's rest the spell. What's this? Oh, that's just the thing that takes you back up. Okay. Not a big deal. See if anything appeared in Martha. I guess, um, off screen, I'm just gonna look for more. I'm just gonna do some merc missions off screen and then look for more things to pick up on quests. So I guess. Where haven't we been yet, though? I feel like there. Yeah, I feel like we didn't really explore everything in Torigoth. We'll probably find some new quests. Yeah, there was some new quests, actually. Let's just unlock those for now. Yep, there's a couple new quests here. Oh, come on. How do we go from here? Oh, this sucks. Let's see the details. I work at the nuclear timber site up by the Gormod Titan's Nape, you see. Day in, day out, we're breaking our backs chopping down trees, but the other day I got to work and noticed a lot of them were missing, just vanishing into thin air. And even with all of us working together, we only manage about maybe five trees a day. They're massive, you see, and really heavy to boot. It's hard, hard work. So it pisses me right off to think someone's just stealing them. Can't just leave you in the lurch in here, we'll sort it out. Really? If I mean, everyone at the site will be so thrilled to hear that. Afraid I got nothing when it comes to the thief, though. I guess the best place to start would be asking around the timber site. Someone might have a lead for you. who will handle this task without fail. I'll head over there later to hear what you found out. See you then. Alright. This might... Okay, there's multiple quest marks. Huh. Oh. I guess we just gotta talk to all the people at the timber site. Hi, Helena. Huh? Oh, Tugger's got you hunting down the thieves. I've not seen anyone, but I might know something useful. I'd be interested to hear the details. Well, it's just some gossip I heard from my husband. You ever been to a place called Seagull Fell? You know, down near the rear end of the Gormot Titan? Well, I bet you didn't know there was a little hut by the waterfall, did you? My husband says he saw a pretty big stash of lumber down there. Which is weird because nobody's supposed to be living there, you know? It sounds a tad suspicious if you ask me. Might be nothing, but might be something. At any rate, that's all I know. Hope it comes in useful, and good luck on your hunt. You and me got this one covered, don't we, Nina? It's Nia. Oh, I, I think I know what she's talking about. Yeah, that random little hut we found down there that did nothing. Okay. Let me ask you about something. So Tugger's got you looking for the timber thieves, has he? Well, he is the kind of guy to take that sort of thing personally. Makes sense, though. The Titans grow these staggering trees, and you don't want all that effort to go to waste and be taken in vain. I see. Well, I can at least tell you all I know about the thief. It won't take long, because I know absolutely nothing. 
Haha, <laughs> oh, the look on your face was priceless. Sorry, but the stuff was stolen while the site was closed for the day. Somebody, nobody was here to see anything. You might have a tough time finding any witnesses. But hey, that's not a reason to give up. Keep asking. You never know who will push you in the right direction. Understood. So I'm guessing that girl over there was going to give us the only hint, which she did. Well, Tucker's got you hunting down those thieves, has he? Yep. That's our Tucker for you. When something gets to him, he doesn't let it go easy. I know he'd be mad if I hid anything about this, so I'll tell you what I know. Thanks. Nothing. Just the other day, I saw some shady types lurking around here. It looked like they were scoping out the site. Thinking about it now, they could easily have been plotting a theft, you get me? You'll never guess who it was, though. No pawn. Nope. I won't deny plenty of no pawn of a love for money, but I wouldn't peg them as thieves. <laughs> we know a few thieves. No, the ones I saw were a bunch of Turkin. They're smarter than we give them credit for, this Turkin. Some can talk, and they build wooden houses, too. Kind of makes sense that they'd be eyeing up the wood here. Well, I said I'd tell you all I know, and now I have. Good luck with the rest. Oh, we gotta talk to the dude here, I guess. So how's it going? Anyone have any good leads? Allow me to explain. Hmm, I see. So what you're telling me is, the timber was stolen when the site was closed for the day. I already knew that, though. Ugh, I'd hoped that the boss would have known something more useful. And you also found out some target I've been keeping an eye on this place? Very suspicious. Maybe they're our culprits. And seeing as someone saw a big pile of timber by the hut near Siegel Fell, you reckon those target are stashing what they steal down there? Yep. Well, I guess we're getting somewhere. Not bad. You think you can check this hut out? Maybe we'll get to the bottom of those Turkin's tricks. You'll handle this task without fail. I knew I could count on you. Watch your back out there. Yep, I think I know the place they're talking about. Huh. Whoopsie. Yep, and it is actually near the, the Turkin's tree house that we keep, that we keep coming back to. <laughs> Also, fun fact, one of my deeds reduces the fall damage, so let's hope it works. Let's jump down here just to be safe. It doesn't work. Alright, load, 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 Too lazy to go through the cave. Uh, see, we can make it. Wee, 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 Yeah, this is how true explorers climb down places. And in the cutscene. Maybe I'll ask you about something. Who are you? Croc! No, no person! You come for re-steal wood? Think so? Croc! Here for break Turk and dreams! No good! Cannot allow! Only one thing for do! Fight! We fighting! You guys do not do grammar. Or spelling. Wow, you guys are the weakest enemies we've fought in a while. Alright, got an elaborate carving. Oh, who are you? Why are you Mark? I don't know why that guy was marked. That was like the easiest fight we've done in ages. Like, like how? We just knocked those guys out in the blink of an eye. Okay, let's back. Oh, you made it back in one piece. Good to see. So, what did you find? So, the thing is... 
So it was the Turk, and I should have known. And you say they dropped the carving? Hand over, let me have a look. Yep. Uh, amazing! It's so detailed! I've never seen work like it! It takes a real love and respect for your materials to make carvings like this! I never knew the Turkin had it in them! Hang on, I just had a great idea! Folk and Moore Dane would pay a fortune for something like this! All I gotta do is buddy up with the Turkin, give them the lumber, and have them carve it! Great idea, or what? Uh, what am I saying? You already, uh, took out the Turkin who did this, didn't you? Sorry. I'm sure they'll wake up eventually. No, it's fine. You just do what I asked you to do. Tell you what, take this carving over to the accessory shop in Torigov. I'll let Rena know you're coming. If anyone can make something good out of this, it's her. I thank you. No, I should be the one thanking you. It's a proper elite to know we don't have to worry about those thieves anymore. But, mixed feelings and all. Yeah, you got a point. Okay. Tucker told me you lot were coming. You're looking to have a carving turned into an accessory, right? Yep. Well, hang on just a second. I'll get started on it right away. This carving is something else. Beautiful. Definitely not human-made. I've not seen this nervous crafting something in a long time. Whoever made this is a real master. Well, here you go. Take good care of it, okay? Alright, not bad. Alright, that was an easy quest. <laughs> Some really easy enemies. Alright, um, I guess off screen I'll do some merc missions and look for quest materials. Yeah, no one leveled up from that. That was too easy. <laughs>